Hello! Welcome to the Chatting Couch and yeah. Real Reviews! Hey. We're all teaming up here to do something a little bit different. You guys do your TV kind of movie, movie review reviews, stuff yep. all the time. I'm never in front of a camera, <laughs> so this is weird for me. But uh, Curtis Nash, Josh Gruber, Darren Wartz, and we're here to talk about E3, the E3. Electronic Entertainment Expo. Nerds like us, we love our video games. We do. Exactly. Because <laughs> then you don't have to leave the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess first of all, let's go around and I guess favorite thing uh, from the my, entire thing. Sony's conference. PlayStation's <laughs> conference, just on the whole, yeah. was one of my favorite things. So yeah, I've, I don't know, for everybody who doesn't know about E3, it's essentially Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony. EA, Bethesda, any big studio yeah. that releases games. So you have the, the three major um, units, if mm -hmm. you will. And they do their their presentations for new games and uh, yeah, like Kurt said, Sony it really knocked it out of the park. An hour and twenty minutes of nonstop game trailer. I had to, I started watching the the Sony <laughs> conference live while I was at work, and uh, then I had to leave because yeah, I finished. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I got ticked off. I was like, oh, I'll finish this later at home. Luckily, PlayStation Four and YouTube streams beautifully, yep. so I laid in bed and watched the entire thing. And from right from the get, the orchestratic. Yeah. The intro they had the When you music. go out a band, <laughs> right? you have this guy walking out, <laughs> Imperial March. I was like, man, I want a band following me around. And I'm thinking, like, every single time I enter a room now, I just want the horse star space It was just so epic. And uh, it just seemed when I was watching the Xbox one, now I owned both consoles at one point, so there's no bias here. Just kind of, when I was watching the Xbox one, it seemed more simple. PlayStation really loves the bells and whistles. Is, it seems like Xbox loves to advertise... Their attachments, their, almost. yeah, like, like their, their their new Xbox or their new yeah. controller. Yeah, where Sony's like, you know what? All that's gonna be coming up for everybody. Let's focus on our games. Yeah. That's Which, why I like Sony's. That uh, that Gears of War cog troller or whatever they were calling yeah. it is retailing for what two hundred dollars. What's the point? For a custom controller? <laughs> like, they're already 60 if you want a red or white or black one or something. I feel like just because it has Gears of War and a scratch on the front yeah. doesn't constitute $200. I feel Even like where, where you say that you're not biased because you've have mm -hmm. or you've had both systems, I've only been Sony. I had a 360, ah. then I so switched like, to Sony. I watch Microsoft and I get so angry because everything I see for Microsoft, I just see it as a, a money grab. Mm -hmm. Everything that they do. And case in point, you know, the controller, I'm just like, Microsoft! Well, and if you want to get onto the money grab side of it, they're going to charge now $299 for you to have a better console than they released opening yep. day with the X-Bone. And it's got 4K gaming, it's got a better processor, better hard drive, it's 40% smaller than the Xbox One is, but it's only $300. When I bought my Xbox One, it was like 600 and some. But not even. That's for a 500 gig. Yeah, they and it was and it's a 2 terabyte. 2 terabyte. It's as big as my up. Toyota. It's <laughs> <That is> huge. <laughs> like when they, they advertise that new Xbox One S, like, cool, mm -hmm. you made a smaller system, but you should have done it two years ago. Yeah. Sorry. You For had the sure. capabilities two year, years ago to do it, and all of a sudden Sony is outselling you hand over fist, oh, and yeah. you're like, we got to think of something new, guys. But they do better games. Yeah. Like, everybody already has their system. I'm the Sony guy. I'm not going to be like, oh, it's a smaller Xbox. I'm going to buy it. Yeah. Right? Well, well, and, that's, not. and because of the whole 4K thing, you know, Sony released the same thing with their with their PlayStation. They're releasing a, a kind of like a spin-off for the PS4 that will be the 4K. PS4 the Neo the or yeah, something? Yeah, the Neo. Yeah. But I mean, and, and they said... Why are we on the marketing team? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, heard, they, I heard somebody say that. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> they ended up saying, like, you know, only the 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 hardcorest of gamers will go out and pick up this new unit. And I'm like, really? If I didn't have one, though, I'd If I didn't one. have one, that's a different story. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it, Or right? if you're a parent I'm not going to go out and upgrade, yeah. Yeah. spend, you know, $300 on a new unit just because of 4K. When, realistically, like... Do you even have a TV that plays 4K? Like, that's relatively new. That's like, true. It, Those I are just, expensive TVs. Yeah, you know? I have a Samsung Smart TV, which I use, and I love it, but it's not It's not compatible with anything. They're not like going to send you a free TV. No. I, no. Yeah. I keep signing up for TELUS just so I can get a free one. Um, but that, that's totally the thing. Okay, you spent $299 on the Xbox Slim, but now you need to spend another $2,700 to get 4K yeah. TV. There so that go. lives up to the reason you bought it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But Xbox, I, we, come on. We don't want to bash it. I'm sure in the comments under this, all the Xbox, Xbox people are going to be guys, super but polite. I'm just like I said, Sony, Sony has it too. It's the same boat, yeah. but Sony didn't really focus on it. No. Not as much as Xbox. And did. that's what I loved about the Sony pre uh, press conference was the fact that from 
right away when they opened, when Buddy came out to orchestra, God it was, Lord. hi, we're here with this. Here's video games for an hour and a half, yeah. hour and 40 minutes. Yeah. And a trailer would end, people would applaud, another one would start <laughs> up. And, and that's exactly what E3 should be about. Mm-hmm. Getting you hyped for what's 2016 got in store for me and my ass and it, my couch. It's a visual thing, like... For sure. You can, you can really you can mention your Xbox whatever one S and then have an article about it later on. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you don't it's a visual. People are, are there to see games and everybody's like, I wonder what the new They don't uh, want to sit there for small console <laughs> Xbox is gonna come out with this year. And I remember a couple of years ago when all the new gen consoles were launching and they were announcing That's a different Xbox story. One. Then you focus on that one hundred percent. And Xbox did a great job because they focused on the gaming side, not their they were kind of switching to almost a cable company yeah, where you right? can watch TV on yeah. it now. But you know, regular guys like us, I have a gaming console for gaming, and yeah. I have a yeah. TV box for television. I You're don't right. need both. You don't need it, yeah. Um, okay, so I guess we all agree then, the PlayStation. Play Sony, Sony hands one. down. <laughs> yeah. Did anybody Sony watch one. Nintendos? I watched no. a bit of it, and it's only because, like, you no. want to see what's going on. And Nintendo... There's nothing going on with Nintendo. It's Zelda, so true. Mario, it's so true, Pokemon, you know? that's what's going on so in you, Nintendo. Everybody grew up with the Nintendo. Yeah. Nintendo, yes, realistically, true. should, hands down, be killing everything... But since the GameCube, like my biggest problem with Nintendo is a uh, their lack of games, mm-hmm. and b their their console can't do anything. And that's what that's the point. It's I was not just an entertainment bring up. system. It's They've been gaming. around forever. We can see what video games can do now. It's almost like that uncanny valley has almost mm-hmm. been crossed in cutscenes. Why is a Nintendo? going in that route. Like, the new Zelda looks cool, but it still looks like N64 graphics. It, no polygons, just smoothed out. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. It's like Nintendo forgot that their fan base grew up. Yeah. yeah. Like, and we're not all about Nintendo colors. 64, no! Nintendo 64, that was it. <laughs> wow. I, mean, lost, I, love my, I love my Nintendo 64, oh. but Buzz since Bumble. then... <laughs> well, and that's just then, it, nothing. you know, like, I... Uh, there are the hardcore Nintendo... Uh, enthusiasts oh, yeah. that will go out and they'll pick it up for Zelda and for Mario. I can't just Mario Kart. I can't either. No. I can't. I not when you see like the games that are coming out and you're watching a movie, but you're controlling the protagonist yeah. in this movie now. So I don't want to play a game where it's like a bunch of Cartoon, bubbles floating yeah. around. Yeah. I want to be fully immersed. VR, which we'll get to later, but like you know, I want that Sword Art Online where I'm uploaded into a video game yeah. and get to let's be badass. Let's give Mario a gun and let's see what he really can do. <laughs> right? <make. laughs> Not this raccoon tail. <laughs> Look how Bowser just rolled. Bowser he just comes fire, in with a deagle. He has the fire flower. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Nintendo. We love you. Send a free stuff. Yeah, um, send a free stuff. <laughs> we may talk nice about it. Yeah, gotta buy our love. <laughs> um, and then to move on, so we did the press conference now. When it came to uh, game studios, there, like you said, there was Bethesda, uh, Ubisoft. I Ubisoft was there, EA. Which do you think had the most promise for the upcoming year? Uh, I would, I could grab a little bit from each, to be honest with you. Like yeah, I said, I didn't pay much attention to the Xbox because I'm not or Microsoft because I'm not going to buy one. So Gears of War Four, I'm like, yeah, they look cool, but I'm never going to play it. Because it, it looks the same, too. it looks sweet, but now Titan Saw is cross-platform, yeah, so I right. can play Titanfall on my PS4. That's a little different now, but as for EA, I was a uh, uh, a little disappointed. Star Wars always does their thing where they never, they didn't, they did this the past two years. They don't actually give you very Anything. much video. <laughs> Anything. So I was more impressed though by that 15 <laughs> seconds of their new third person game coming out. Yeah. And that whole EA conference, oh. that little 15 yeah, seconds, I was like, that's a there you game. Go. That's Buddy a game. just walked out of the totally house on Tatooine and yeah. it was like almost like Star Wars meets Witcher. Yeah. Where it's like, like, do okay. I get to like make my own Jedi yeah. or Sith? Do I get to upgrade his, his gear, like build my own lightsaber? But all they say from is it's, a, it's our new third person. But <laughs> <laughs> It's supposed to be more than just like dangling the stake in front of you. It's supposed to be like we're we haven't told anyone about this yet, but here's 20 minutes of gameplay. Unfortunately, you know, like, like they do in all the press conferences, like you give the tease at the end, they're like next day you're like here's 20 minutes of gameplay. Yeah, like, Hoo. nothing. Yeah. I think EA is kind of you know as a as a whole, you know, we've come to expect great footage, mm-hmm. you know, playable stuff, uh, especially for the people that actually go to this. And then, like you said, you get EA that's dropping a 15-second EA teaser. <laughs> what, they can well, get away with it. Oh, look it. And you gobbled it up. You should be like, no, <laughs> EA. <laughs> what's going on with EA, though, and Mass Effect Andromeda? They had writers leaving because they didn't like the story or the route that the creativity was taking. Yeah. And that worries me. Is I'm a huge Mass Effect mm-hmm. fan. Like I played that series over and over again. Loved it. Uh, I don't care that there's no Commander Shepard in this one. No. The graphics and it like looks cool to see the Mako open world cruising around on a distant planet, and that one like one kind of almost like uh, Rancor charging the dude yep. in the one scene. But I'm worried about 
is the story going to suck? Is it going to be like too linear and open world, but linear driven? Like, I'm just worried that if people are leaving the project, that means bad things. It's very true, yes. But it did look sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it did look sweet. <laughs> They're still going to get my money. I think, you know what? When, when it comes to Mass Effect, there there's that following. It's a yeah. cult mm -hmm. group. Like... And I, I get it that you, you know, you as like a, I've never gotten into it as mm -hmm. much as like, I know a lot of people have, but I think that, uh, you just gotta have a little bit of faith and you probably won't be disappointed. It's yeah. hard to hate something <laughs> when you've loved three of their games already, right? Well, You're not gonna I be like, I I'm love the first Transformers. <laughs> I love the first Transformers, but look at us now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we did our favorite uh, game conference. We did our favorite uh, gamer company conference. So now out of all of that, which game has you the most hyped, would you say? There's a lot, but I'm... <laughs> you know what? Let's go. Let's go like, you can give, like, rattle off three or four, whatever right. you're... Resident Evil, oh yeah, of Mass Effect, yep. and God of War yeah. are the mm. ones that are. Resident Evil, though, when that seven came up in the Resident Evil, I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> I was freaking out. I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna play this game like during the day with all my lights on. Yeah. And, like... But I'm happy that it looks like it's toned down. Mm. It really looks four. like. Well, it really, it reminds me of number one. The Even house. One, yes. It's more of a survival game. Puzzles. It's not. You know. Here's five, yeah. Here's five bullets. Here's five bullets. Good luck. And you're not. You know. And a flashlight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that's what they were saying because you know, uh, six was okay. It was interesting to like you're Leon for a bit, and then yeah. you're Wesker's kid for a bit. Uh, five was really cool. It was really action oriented. Yeah. Four and five were four. dynamite. Four where you're saving four. the president. Uh, yeah. Four Leon was my Kennedy. favorite. Leon yeah. Kennedy should be in every single game. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, sucked in the movies, but damn it, he's cool <laughs> in the games. Josh? No, God of War, hands down. You know, I was... Kratos with a beer! As soon as... <laughs> Son, you know, like you said, <laughs> Sony comes out with this orchestra, I'm like, all right, cool, we're playing a little ditty. Like, let's get... <laughs> a little ditty. <laughs> let's get the video going. <laughs> and it starts off with this kid, and I'm like, all right, it looks like it's definitely, like, third person yeah. over the shoulders. See the old God guy with the beard? God of didn't even, didn't even... Cross my mind. Cross my Neither mind. did the crowd when they lit oh. up the Kratos steps. Until, yeah, until you see Kratos, the red... I, that until was I me. saw the red tattoo, I was like, That's Kratos! He looked at that beard! I was sitting at home in my rocking chair, <laughs> all old man, like, I stood up. Smoking <laughs> a corn cob pipe, just yeah. speaking of the... the so elevator. God of War, for sure, but... You know, we were talking uh, just earlier, and I had said, you know, Sony, everything that they showed didn't really disappoint me. There were some things that obviously don't look as awesome mm. as other things. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not saying that I'm, I'm not going to try them or pick them up, right? But there's definitely, there's too much stuff for Sony that I, I can't focus on anything else. That's true. <laughs> you know? <Definitely. laughs> yeah. uh, I got to say, like you said, even though I don't have an Xbox... Gears of War 4 does look cool, but it still looks like this Gears is the exact same game. And they're fighting, like, even the alien threat is the same thing, but a little different. Um, but I would say Prey from the Bethesda conference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks very... I don't know if it's the same... I didn't look much into it, if it's the same Prey as whatever that was six, seven years ago. Oh, yeah. That same franchise. But it does look a little more... Horror yeah. oriented, like a dead space. Almost, and like a uh, dead space meets the darkness. Do you remember yeah. that game? Darkness, yeah. And you can the go and like. You, yeah, yeah. Uh, that I thought was cool. The Norman Reedus game, Death Stranding. Weird, but. It's, <laughs> Again, like. It's, it's, uh, where was the baby? What's with the handprints? I don't know, but I'm intrigued. I think it's just too much hype. Like, you have the, the creator of Metal of Gear. PT, he though. walks out. Oh, and everybody loses their mind. If, they show this this footage, and I'm like, what is, what's going if, uh, on? What's, what's going on? Name? Naked Daryl was a smash yeah. PT was a smash hit. Yeah. Yeah. And you knew it was going to be Silent Hill when you Silent unlocked. Hills, yeah. And so everybody's like, oh, they're doing this. He's doing Hideo Kojima or whatever his name is doing a Silent Hill game. Mm -hmm. Leaves his company, starts his own. Yeah. So I think they're kind of going back. Yeah. It's going to be a horror genre, Silent Hill, not called Silent Hill. Yeah. yeah. And then what was uh, the game I'm in no way, shape, or form Final Fantasy. to? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm a little bit excited. The Elder Scrolls Online looked like it maybe had some cool eh. stuff coming out. The whole, I'm not big into the MMOs, but I've tried Me them neither. and I don't hate them, but I like a good like action-driven storyline and good cutscenes and whatnot. But um, <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That <laughs> Delta... The one where you're an android police oh, officer. Detroit, the Detroit, Detroit. Story driven. Yeah. Detroit, Detroit, almost human, human or, something. or something. That, that yeah. game, I was sitting in my bed watching this. It's like it's like one <laughs> thirty in the morning, yeah. and I'm just laughing. I'm like, this game looks stupid. It's but, like, because how many times in a choice driven game do you need to say, you need to make a choice? 
Jimmy, you need to make a choice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting there watching. It's like, so you don't it get was, to actually They focus too much on like one thing. Yeah, you get to make a choice, but it's been done. Like Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls. Heavy Rain was awesome. And then they go yeah. on to show you. And that's the thing. Every I, didn't, possible, I didn't like them. So every I, possible the outcome from the end of that game they yeah. showed in that cutscene. Yeah. He falls. He drops the daughter. The daughter lives. Shot. The daughter doesn't live. Yeah. You die. That's you shoot thing. him. Like yeah. I said, I loved Heavy Rain. I watched this trailer. I'm like, I was the same with you. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so I was not feeling right. I was just yeah. laughing. I was just like swinging a miss, Sony. That yeah. one wasn't really the, the best. The one for I've me seen. from Sony was that I don't even know what it's called. The uh, one where uh, the girls walk around and it's like robots. the robot animals. I'm like, it started Haven. to look cool. Haven. I was, yeah. I was messaging Josh yeah. the whole time, like live as we're watching <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, we're Back watching. And forth. Like, oh, this looks kind of cool. He's like, this yeah, looks, looks kind of cool. This looks if good. She hits the pause menu. It says like supplies, inventory, crafting. I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> This guy cannot oh, craft much anything. Your head, eh? What it, is this? It really reminds me of Fallout. Mm. Uh, like the way that she was targeting the, the uh, like the baddies. Oh, totally. <laughs> reminds me of Fallout because it looked like you could kind of target different parts mm -hmm. uh, uh, on the animal, mm. but then it kind of meets more of a almost the reboot of to uh, Tomb Raider. Tomb Where Raider? it's got that over the shoulder, like, like, I like, thought Witcher. With bows. I thought Witcher. I love the Witcher. Oh. Because it looks like you're just going around gathering stuff, yeah. you're making stuff. Dynamite. <laughs> Dynamite. No. <laughs> okay, so that's yours. Did you give a game that you're not that excited about? Uh. In any indie game. Yeah, <laughs> any indie e3 game. E3 is not for indie games. No. It's to showcase. You can upload them for free off. to the networks, can't you? For yeah. anyone to play. So yeah. really, yeah. you don't need E3. Who you cares? just need an internet connection. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you know. <sighs> I try not to be too negative oh, on those games. <laughs> the last 15 oh, he minutes. He has been The last 15 much. minutes has been bitching. I try not to complain, you know, too much. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I'm, like, how you, I don't know. I don't, there's, I don't think I watched anything really that really made me be like, ugh. Like, you get, again, yeah. Detroit, the Detroit almost human thing, I was like, Bleh. It looks interesting. I don't know what it looked like, you know? Yeah. That's probably the closest thing, but yeah. all the things that I did watch, like, I, I went out of my way because it was things I wanted to see, mm -hmm. you know? Like, I, I went out of my way to watch the new Zelda. Yeah, that's true. You know, I went out of my way to just check out Titanfall, things like that, like the big titles, so... Are you? Let me ask you this, kind of the, I guess, to wrap up. I believe we've probably covered everything pretty good. <laughs> 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 we we are stuff. To what we did. Exactly. Uh, what are your thoughts on the VR coming out in October? Okay. <laughs> are you going to get it? Are you excited? Do the games like uh, match up to what your expectations? We've talked. We talked about this. As we're watching yep. E3, I, I said, "Are you getting one?" I said, "I'm not getting one, just for the fact is a it's four hundred dollars. U.S. It's, it's brand in. new. Yep. Yeah. I'm like, I told him I'll wait for the first." Price drop and version two to come out. That's exactly what I told Kurt too. I was like, "That's way too steep for my blood. That's mm -hmm. crazy." That's talk. a lot of money. And then with Sony when they launched the PS4, I was really disappointed because they had no titles. My PS4 sat there; it yeah. didn't really get used for, for the first months. few months because they're promising fifty titles for the VR. Yeah, but let's be honest, three of them are going to be good. But not Dude, even the rest that. are like. Pick up this chicken and you it's can shake the eggs that. out like or something v like that. Like when they had the expo and with the connect. <laughs> They're promising 50 games, but you know, the, the Star Wars title that they showed was one X Wing mission. Yeah. So it's, it's one mission and that's it. Yeah. That's all it is. Even so there are some games like the Batman, the Arkham one for. Still, I'm curious about that. I can't it's fight like hour. Batman. So how am I going to be able to speak up. for yourself? <laughs> you see this? <laughs> <laughs> that's just, it's just 30 hours of gameplay. <laughs> I'm so good, I'm a ninja. <laughs> but one thing that I do have to say, like this, I, the VR is long, like virtual reality is long past you, I think. Yeah. We've seen it like growing up, starting with, uh, it, Nintendo had like that stand, the Game Boy. Virtual Boy. Virtual Boy. Oh, yeah. The red lines. Yeah. So I think they've, they've perfected it as, as good as they can. And I think that with VR, comes so much different like so much more possibilities like mm -hmm. imagine just putting on your helmet and watching tv and hitting your kid in the face back <laughs> well, so, yeah, you've seen those harnesses where you can actually run yeah. on the battlefield yeah. but that's where i get like none of the titles i've seen that have been coming out out of their 50 exclusives for it they showed one first person shooter that looked or blocky. Resident Evil, was it yeah was like it? some but of it though the vr graphics the games that are made specifically mm. for vr aren't quite there yet right right yeah, on par with everything else but the thing i'm worried about is when i'm playing Paranormal Activity, the <laughs> VR yeah. game, and I'm sitting there. I got my I got my Turtle Beach on. I got that on, and my wife comes home and goes, "Hi, Jared." Hey. Like, ah! 
Like, and heart people attack. accidentally get heart attacks. Hey, well, they have to have house. a camera. They should have a warranty where if you show yourself on camera getting too scared and like you accidentally fling it off or something, that you need should not some be held sort liable. of like medic, like <laughs> heart heart monitor. <laughs> like, give the gamer alert. The game's like, like <laughs> take this shit, <laughs> take it off. Too much. <laughs> Maya. Like you said, like I feel that the VR should be in a position where it should just be like killing it. Should be rocking our socks. But like you said, there mm -hmm. are some games that still just don't look. They like look it's PlayStation there. Two worthy, you know. But it's... I just think that with when VR eventually does kind of evolve and we're watching VR instead of our TVs and stuff like that, I think that's kind of where it's going. Right? Yeah. Here's For my sure. worry with virtual reality. Yes, it is long past you. I complete completely agree with all your points. All the games. I'm thinking to myself, Kate, this isn't a true VR experience. Paranormal Activity, yes, that is a true VR experience. Yeah. There's, a, they're all making like horror games that are going to be true horror experience. You want to ruin But that. when you're, you're showing like, <laughs> yeah, when you're showing like uh, Star Wars, which is still cool, but in retrospect, instead of moving your head around with this, you're going like this. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like in Call of Duty, they're like, Call of Duty VR. I'm like, you're still moving forward with this and shooting with this. And where you're and, and you're in those games, around. where your line of sight is where your crosshairs are when you yeah, hit fire, right? right. So my so thing is, uh, is your accuracy now? Like I know people get motion sickness, but that's probably because you're looking over here and then you need to turn your body and your aiming thing. Right. It just feels like that's going to be a little uh, exactly. hard to get a hold of right away. So when, like you see, you're like I'd I'd rather play a paranormal activity where I've seen people playing like you're opening up drawers, yeah. you're picking up a flashlight, you're putting the batteries in So not in so much a work. game. You're flicking yeah. a lighter. Not so to much make a it. game, it's but more of an experience. And, and that's, that's exactly, virtu yeah. it's virtual Gotta, like, treasure, in treasure hunts. Not so much for the games, but you know, you're just Yeah, like if I'm walking around it. a game and still using two hands and then just looking around where I want to look, yeah. that's not a uh, VR experience. And that's where I think down the line where it's going to catch up to what the right. technology yeah, needs to be, sure. where there's going to be, you can buy an X-Wing joystick and you can have the thruster exactly. beside you and on your couch, build a little spaceship yeah. and then go and like, say on Battlefield, you're exclusively a pilot or you're exclusively a, a running soldier. Yep. And then you have the, the contraption because then you're actually running and upping a gun when you need to fire. That's where it needs to get like on par with some Disney parks have really good VR, but it needs mm -hmm. to cross into that gaming industry it's gonna on be, that level. Somebody's going to have to create something where you can build your own controller, like yeah. buy the game with its own controller, but like you put it this Bring way. Bring back the game fly. gloves so that you can have your VR uh, and your game this glove. This is my power glove. <laughs> <laughs> but like, are we worried about VR getting to the point where you the have to be on The robots take over? Yes, the, I where, am. <laughs> where you have to be on the treadmill and you have to walk because people, like the lazy people, lazy people that got really upset about, like, you know, when the Wii came out. Yeah. Oh, I have to go like this for, to play <laughs> Legend of Zelda? But Instead of just do it, this? Okay, I'm like, if really? If you give me an actual lightsaber controller in <laughs> virtuality, I'm putting on my robe. And if I get to walk up, <laughs> I'm like, I'm and if I can walk in. up to a reflective surface in that and see Darren, but wearing, like, awesome. Jedi <laughs> robes with a lightsaber, you bet your ass it's getting on. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I would pay $400 just for that game because and that Because then experience. it's me on tap with a lightsaber and it feels like I'm there as opposed to like you said just like okay I'm still using my controller but like oh there's a guy over there cool like I 360 vision yeah, in yeah. Battlefield it's not quite yeah. there for and me if you haven't noticed we're Star Wars fans so go check out our Rogue Squadron <laughs> <laughs> Facebook group plug you love Star Wars Rogue Squadron <laughs> alright so to, <laughs> to wrap it all up closing thoughts we'll start with you Curtis when we work down and then uh, what? overall what do you think of E3 better uh, than most or not quite there better than most years I would have to say Sony blew it out, uh, blew it out. I loved it mm -hmm. everybody did pretty like mediocre to above average except for Nintendo <laughs> but, and they were <laughs> all Step good like, they, <laughs> I wish they would have had a, an even bigger surprise because you kind of expect like a new God of War every yeah. year everybody's like new God of War yeah. new Resident Evil you know, they're expecting it. I want to, I want to, like, a new experience. So I was hoping for Red Dead 2, but... Give it a rating. Me too. Out of 5 or 10. Out of 5 or 10? Well, out of 10, I would give this E3 a 7.5. Yeah, fair. Yeah, uh, same with me. Like, uh, I, like I said, you know, I, I, I watched everything that I wanted to check out. So within regards to Nintendo, obviously we knew, like I kind of had a feeling that the new Legend of Zelda, they would be showing something. I didn't think that they would show that much. Mm -hmm. Well, they've obviously, been working for four years. So well, yeah, and then, done. you know, there's no release date and it's going to get <laughs> delayed again <laughs> really? and again. So that's a surprise. <laughs> that's what Nintendo does. <laughs> but like just seeing kind of what they have up their sleeve. And then like you said, Sony... Their overall press conference, dynamite. Mm -hmm. Like, just rocked my world. And uh, a lot of the studios, 
you know, they didn't. Ha- there wasn't as many flops. I think I'm hoping that it's not a one-off year because I find that previous E3 years you you are left disappointed. Yeah, you want that big title to just be like boom, and then they're like, oh, it's done, and you're like, where is it? Like, right, where's yeah. everything yeah. that's awesome? So this year, I'm hoping it's not a one-off. I'm hoping E3 is back. You know, climbing back up for you know all their fans. Yeah. Uh, seven point five for me as well. All right, and I would say yeah, the same thing. I enjoyed everything I was watching. It got me hyped for games that are going to be coming out in the next year, um, and really got me excited to just kind of see that we're finally reaching that next gen graphics level with a lot of this stuff, and the storytelling's getting there. I'm excited to see where the gameplay takes us. I am a little tired of remasters. When they announced mm-hmm. the Skyrim remaster, I was like, just make a new game, guys. Like, I don't, <laughs> I've already bought it and beat it. Now you want me to pay $80 now instead of 60 for this game to play yeah. the same story over again. And like, oh, but you get a dragon. <laughs> uh, so it's, you know, those things that kind of knock it down a peg for me because it's like you guys have had time since you released the new one to make a better one or make a new one. So I, I'm getting really wore out of remasters mm-hmm. of everything yeah. and then charging full price for said remaster. Um, because it's not a next-gen game. It's the old stuff, and you're just making it a little bit shinier and messing with the lighting. So that kind of ruined a bit, a bit for me, but my overall excitement level for the year is really high. So I would have to say probably I would go maybe 7.3 quarters. Woo! <laughs> 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 not quite an eight, but pretty darn close. But yeah, overall, I enjoyed it. I Gentlemen, too. we should probably do this more often because I yeah. enjoyed this as yep. well. Yeah. It and if good. you like to check out real reviews on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, my pa- uh, my page, Darren on Air and VO, The Chatting mm-hmm. Couch, like us, find us on all forms of social media, and let us know what you thought of this video and E3 in the comments below.